So you're thinking about moving to Pittsburgh? In this video, I'm gonna show you all around Carnegie. I'll take you through some neighborhoods and show you different homes so you can see what they fit with your budget. And if you stick around to the end, I'll share with you a market report so you know exactly what's happening with the real estate market here in Carnegie. If this is your first time on the channel and you want to know everything about living in Pittsburgh, then subscribe below and tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market here in Pittsburgh. I'm Crystal Lorenzo with Coldwell Banker and I get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to Pittsburgh and I absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in one week or one year, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email so I can help you make a smooth move to Pittsburgh. Today we are here on Main Street in Carnegie. Carnegie is about five miles southwest of downtown Pittsburgh. The borough is about 1.6 square miles and it's surrounded by Roslyn Farms, Scott Township, Collier Township, and Robinson Township. Carnegie is named after Andrew Carnegie, who donated one of his libraries for the gesture. Carnegie had a rail yard that had connections to several railroads early in the 20th century. Neighborhoods include Roslyn Heights, Cabbage Hill, Irish Town, Forsyth Hill, Library Hill, and Old Mansfield. Many of these neighborhoods were at one time or another mined for coal and the main employers were steel mills. In 2004, Carnegie was significantly damaged by flooding as a result of Hurricane Ivan. But since 2014, Carnegie's Main Street has rebounded with many new restaurants and small businesses. It really is a walkable community with many interesting and unique stores and restaurants here on Main Street. There's ice cream, pizza, Japanese, kebabs, Indian, Italian, spirits, mead, wine, Riley's Poorhouse, and one of our favorites, 131 East. There are lots of local art and artists, culture, and even a theater. For recreational activities, there's mini golf, a dog park, playgrounds, tennis courts, a deck hockey rink, basketball courts, baseball fields, walking trails, and even a skate park. Our average sales price is about $183,000 which is $159 a square foot, and sellers are doing great and getting about 103% of their list price. So before we head to Leo Greta for dinner, let's check it out. And like I said, whether you're moving in one week or one year, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email so I can help you make a smooth move to Pittsburgh. Until next time, I hope to show you around town. Let's go.